I love planning vacations for families, but one of the things I hear is that their kids aren't gonna enjoy a tour. So in this video, I'm sharing five things that my five-year-old loves about tour guides. Showcase suggestions. Where I share travel tips and lists of five to help make traveling with kids a little easier. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Christina and I'm the owner of Showcase the World Travel and we're joined by a guest today. This is... My name is Annabelle and I am a student of K-Prep. Um, and you're five years old? Class and I'm five years old. And we love tour guides. We've had private tours in Greece and in London and what kids and Annabelle's especially love about them is that number one, if you're on a private tour, they're going to tailor the tour to your kids and your kids' interests. So they ask about my kid what they're interested in and what they wanna learn more about. So when we went to the Tower of London, what were you the most excited to see at the Tower of London? Uh, I really don't know, I think all of it. All of it? Well, the Ravens, you wanted to see the Ravens because we have oh, a Paddington yeah, book. We have a Paddington book and the Ravens. So we got to experience the Ravens and we even got to meet a beef eater who let Annabelle hold the keys and open up the Tower of London, right? Mm -hmm. And that's an experience we wouldn't have had without our private tour guide who had it has a relationship with the beef eaters at the place. Another thing that I love about tour guides for families is if I know about you and your family, I have relationships with tour guides that I can pair you with the right one for your trip. I'm going to talk about London again because there's a tour guide I work with in London. Annabelle hasn't met Mr. Dan, but Mr. Dan is a huge Harry Potter fan and he gives the best Harry Potter tours. And he looks a little bit like Harry Potter, so that's fun too. So when you're thinking about tours as dry and your kids aren't going to like them, they're guides that are really gonna make places come to life. We're also able to, with private tours, do exclusive things. So number three, we're able to do exclusive things like a street art tour where you actually get to go and make street art, changing of the guards experience. If you're in Paris, you know you have guides who can create a scavenger hunt through the Louvre. We're really excited about our upcoming trip to Italy because we have a private guide who's gonna bring us on a golf cart. The fourth thing I really love is the relationships that you make. So if you click with a tour guide, we're able to hopefully have consistency for your trip. So we had our tour guide, Pam, for quite a few tours in London. Yes. Yeah, so we got to have a nice relationship with her and we spent a day with her at the Tower of London and then when we went to go to Hampton Court with her later in our trip, she knew Annabelle loved ABBA. Right, and she put together an ABBA playlist for the van for Annabelle, and it was just so thoughtful. The fifth thing that we love about tour guides, what did Pam give you at the end of our trip? I really don't remember. So at the Tower of London, she got you a, a ruler that had all of the wives of Henry VIII, right? And at Hampton Court, she got you a little gift, a bright pink felt ornament. So she really got to know Annabelle and really tailored the tour to her. We also had some great tours in Greece as well. What was your, you, I know you're going to say custard, but other than your, other than custard, what was your favorite part of our Greece trip? You know what I'm going to say. I know. I'm going to say custard. Custard. What, <laughs> what about the man goat? There's no man goat alive, but the person in Hercules. Yeah. So we had a change to our plans. I wasn't planning on visiting a museum in Athens because Annabelle was really young at the time. She was only two. We were chartering a yacht for a week and doing the Greek islands. And so we had to postpone a day because of some rain and the water levels and the winds. We weren't able to sail. And so we ended up in a museum, the Menakis Museum, and I'm like, oh, well, my two-year-old's gonna be bored out of her mind. But when we came back, other than custard, when we asked her favorite part of the trip, she said the man goat. We had a great tour guide named Chris who helped the museum come to life by telling the stories of the Greek myths, not just sharing details. Of course, we've had some tour guides that just share details and don't have that great connection. But Chris was awesome, and your favorite part was the man goat because he told you the story about the word panic and how it's named after the god Pan. And that's what, at least for, for a year after the trip she talked about, she might not remember it now, but that's what she talked about for a while. So tour guides are essential to a great trip with your kids. You could have someone super boring and dull that's not going to engage them 
or you can have someone who makes the destination come to life. That's the value of working with a travel advisor is we can pair you with the right tour guides. You're not just joining a small group tour. We're able to customize your private tours to you, your kids' interests, and we're able to connect you with tour guides that are going to connect with your family. So those are the things that you love about tour guides, right? I really think so. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. Do you want to tell them to hit the bell to subscribe? Hit the bell to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to take a break from the busy. And if you're ready to plan your trip with some guides, make sure you click the link below to schedule a call with me or someone on my team. And take off one of these weekends. Need help planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.